Hey guys, what is going on? This is Lopu, and um, I know I haven't made a video in about like four weeks, a month, um, but I've just been so busy with um, school and stuff. Um, I thought I'd kind of make a pretty cool tutorial, I guess. Um, this one's, it's going to be about V-Ray, and it's going to be about multipass in V-Ray. Now, this may sound simple, um, but it, it's also about um, this plugin for After Effects called Frische Luft, which is Deutsch, and, um, sorry, which is German. Um, and I'll just be kind of showing you how to use that with V-Ray Multipass and in After Effects. So we're going to start off in um, in Cinema 4D. This is just a um, project that I've been doing for school. Um, it's it's a P in um, in Australia. The uh, the um, the we have L plate, P plate red, and P plate green, and um, I'm doing a redesign for it. And um, you don't need to know that. Um, but basically what I've done is I've just put a V-Ray tag on this camera. I've, um, I've put the, um, f-stop down a little bit and the, uh, shutter speed down a little bit. I think, yeah, yeah, the f-stop's on 8. So that, um, oh, I've just made it a little bit brighter. Um, and I have no depth of field on here. Um, and so basically where that magic happens is, um, I do, though, have on this camera, I just have the, um, the focus distance here, so I have it set to um, about where this uh, circle is, and I'll just go back into that camera mode. So now, if I go to render settings, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to multi pass. First of all, tick it, and then just leave this. This is all fine. And then you want to right click on your multi pass, and you want to find post effects. So I've already chosen it, so I won't be here, but I'll just tick that here. And then in post effects, there's no options. You just leave it. Now. This is just this is research that I've done. There were there was there were no like actual examples of how to do the multipass in V-Ray Bridge, um, and so I kind of had to put together a few things. And I haven't tested what works and stuff because my render time's like thirty five minutes, and I really just couldn't be bothered. So I did like two tests, and um, and it seemed to work out really well. And now you want to go into your V-Ray render settings. Now you'll start off at options, but you want to go down to your multipass. And you want to go to depth variant buffer. This will, this will be closed, but you just want to open it. And then on Z depth, just tick it. And that's all you have to do. None of this normal velocity stuff. And in save, you want to make a save path for your multipass image. So I've just put that in um, depth of P plate 2. And I've made it a TIFF PSD layer. Now, one thing that does kind of happen with um, Frisch Luft in After Effects is it'll depth of field but if there's I'll, I'll, I'll explain it in After Effects it's a, it's a little weird and then obviously you'll have the um, you'll have this and um, you just have the normal save path so then you're just going to want to go out and render that now I have already rendered it so should be getting an overwrite thing but whatever so I, I won't render that. I'll head over into After Effects. So here you have, this is the render. Alright, um, looks pretty cool. And, sorry, what you're actually going to get in your render, you're going to get, you're going to get this, which is the multipass for the depth, and you're going to get the render. So what you want to do is you just want to drag both of them into your Photoshop, sorry, your After Effects. And I have this um, depth 27 and the other depth 27. Now, you want to put the grey one underneath the original one. You can even turn that off. Um, and then you just want to go to your rendered layer. You want to go to Effect, Push Luft, Depth of Field. Now, the depth layer, this is where the uh, .tiff Photoshop um, comes in. You want to select that. Turn the radius up to... I'm going to use 40, or oh, maybe 45. And you can already see it's looking fairly hot. Now you can change the focal point um, so that we can have the whole thing blur. And this blur gives a, an extremely realistic blur. So if we turned it down. We get the back blurring instead of the front, and if we did this, we would get that. So you get a really, really accurate transition, which is 
extremely cool. And the fact that you're doing it in After Effects saves about, I'm, I'm going to say, it'll save you. It'll be up in the hours. I think it'll be tens of hours of um, depth of field rendering. So that's an extremely big benefit. But the only problem that I've encountered is if I zoom in here, wait for it just to render the, the preview. So if I zoom in here, you can see that there's these sharp lines, which, oh, at first I was like, what's going on here? And you can see here it's sharp there, but it's blurry on the edges here. But it's sharp here. Now, I'm not sure what's going on, but if we go into the depth layer, either it's taking the darker bits as the behind, well, my voice, but, um, or, or there's just something wrong with it. I'm not sure. But, yeah, it's just, it's very strange. So if I change this to, um, if I change the focal point, like, to here, and then we have this blur. It, okay, so I think I've just made up my mind. Yeah, I think... It is, uh, it's taking the white as in front. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I wonder if there's some kind of invert. Uh, sorry. If there's some kind of invert thing. Uh, focal point. I'm not sure. It's a little bit strange. I have to work on that, but when I get an update for that, I'll let you guys know. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much how to get an incredibly cool look in um, in After Effects and um, and how to use the multipass in V-Ray, um, which is which is just really nice. Uh, so I'll change this again to two hundred fifty. Um, so yeah, I mean, I hope you, I hope this helped you guys. Um, no V-Ray render settings, but uh, yeah, like I said, helped you with the uh, multi-pass. And um, uh, if you want to download that plugin, it's uh, called Prestof. It uh, costs money. Um, you can go to the website. Um, uh, I can't remember what their website is, but it's if you just search Prestof um, Depth of Field plugin for After Effects, you'll um, you'll be able to find it on their website. Um, let's go and support them. Uh, they do a lot of other plugins. I think they do. Um, uh, they do. I'm not sure, but they do something that's uh, that I know that I have. So um, so yeah, maybe uh, when I'm when I come back, I'll be able to fix this problem where it thinks the lighter bit is in front. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Hope this uh, helped you, and um, and yeah, hopefully this tutorial is a bit louder than the uh, than the other one. So yeah, I'll see you guys later, and um, I'll try and make it. Few more videos in the future.